Item number SCP-2080 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2080 is contained in situ and has been boarded up and declared condemned as cover. Two personnel are to be posted at Observation Point 2080 for monitoring. Any civilians found on SCP-2080's property are to be detained and questioned, with amnestics administered if needed. Instances of SCP-2080-1 are not to be removed from SCP-2080. Should an activation event occur, all instances of SCP-2080-1 are to be allowed access to SCP-2080, and all instances of SCP-2080-2 are to be impounded at the conclusion of the event. Two instances of each are held in storage at Site-81 for experimentation. No further action is to be taken to free SCP-2080-1A. SCP-2080 is a two-story house in Inkster, Michigan. It is the focus of a phenomenon involving the reduplication of an individual, Mr. Herschel Sr., SCP-2080-1, and a blue 2001 PT cruiser, SCP-2080-2. Experimentation has verified instances of SCP-2080-1 to be genetically identical, and instances of SCP-2080-2 to exhibit scratches and dents located in precisely the same positions. Instances of SCP-2080-1 cannot communicate, and only repeat 34 distinct phrases. See Document 2080-02A for a full list. Approximately 96% of the available space within SCP-2080 is filled with instances of SCP-2080-1, including the interiors of closets, cabinets, and appliances. Imaging suggests percent of SCP-2080-1 instances are animate. Activation events occur whenever one or more instances of SCP-2080-1 is removed from SCP-2080. Within 10 minutes, an instance of SCP-2080-2 containing four instances of SCP-2080-1 will approach from the south, progress as far up the driveway as possible, and collide with other SCP-2080-2 at present. Instances of SCP-2080-1 will enter SCP-2080 compacting the mass of SCP-2080-1 further into the interior. The activation event will end when the previous number of instances of SCP-2080-1 is reached. This can result in a higher total number of instances, which will become the limit for future activation events. Since containment, there have been activation events, increasing the total number of SCP-2080-1 instances by SCP-2080-1A is thought to be the original instance of SCP-2080-1, and is the only instance capable of communication. It is located in the master bedroom of SCP-2080, pinned between other SCP-2080-1 with its head visible in the window. SCP-2080-1A has expressed pain during activation events. Rescue attempts have been unsuccessful, and due to enactment of current containment procedures, Communication with SCP-2080-1A is no longer possible. Local police alerted Foundation agents in the Detroit, Michigan area to the existence of SCP-2080 after a report from Herschel Jackson, Jr., who is believed to have witnessed the initial series of activation events. Transcript of intake interview follows. Interviewed Herschel Jackson, Jr. Interviewer Agent Arnstadt Detroit Field Office Begin Log 1345 Mr. Herschel Jackson, I'm Agent Arnstadt. I'm here to ask you a few questions. Uh, yeah, alright. When was the last time you spoke with your father? This morning, before, you know. What happened? Did anything about him seem different? Well, I wasn't really paying attention to that on account of we got in a fight. What did you fight about? I, um, he didn't like, you know, who I was dating. Cause he's not a chick, you know. Dad said some nasty shit, and I did too. Like, that I didn't want to talk to him ever again. And then I like, left, you know? What happened after you left? 
When did you first notice something was wrong? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'm good. I, uh... It was pretty much almost right away the shit got weird, like... I was just kind of stomping around, you know? Not going anywhere, really. And then I see this car coming up the road. Caught my eye because it looked like Dad's car. And then I realized, it is. Same license plate, you know? It goes by, I look in the window right, and there he is, smiling and waving like what just happened didn't. And then another one came. And another one after that. And they just kept coming. And every single one, the cars, there's my dad, driving and waving out the passenger side and sitting in back all at once. And all smiling like I never said shit to him. They just kept coming. It says in the police report that you ran back to the house. Yeah. And all those cars kept following me. Just more and more. I get to the driveway. There's like a ton of cars just in a pile. Tried the front door. Nothing. It wouldn't budge. And then the back door. Alright, that's fine. That's enough. Thank you. Do you... Do you think it's my fault? I don't. We're not sure why this is happening. I doubt it's your fault, really. Don't worry. You'll be taken to your family, and we'll see what we can do to help your dad. Thank you, Miss Agent. It's just… I really wish I could take it all back, you know? What I said. I'll see what we can do. End Log 1404 Closing Statement After a standard quarantine period, Herschel Jackson Jr. was anesthetized and released to the custody of his grandparents, with the cover story of a gas leak causing the death of Herschel Sr. Ashes were provided to the family for dispersion, in accordance with Jackson Sr.'s will. No further contact with the family of SCP-2080-1A is required. Excerpt from Document 2080-02A Look, I'm sorry, don't cry. There's another game next month. And we can go then, I promise. Hey, alright, look at those grades. Didn't I say it'd be worth it? Just do this one thing for me. Give me this one night out, and we can go wherever you want this weekend. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, I'm for real, yeah. I never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologized a trillion times. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're still my son, and I still love you. And that's all that matters.